Hi, this is the first in a series of videos on how to set up the iPad to be able to handwrite on virtual music staff paper. There are a few different ways to do this, and the method that I'll focus on in this video is setting up the penultimate app to use staff paper. Now, if you're needing to do more intensive music notation tasks that require features like playback or piano keyboard entry, then you're better off going with an app like Notion or NoteFlight. But if you're taking notes and just need to write down a quick musical example or jot down some musical ideas, then this might be a method that's appropriate and convenient for you. So let's get started. The first step is to find and download the penultimate app from the App Store. And here it is. Penultimate is a general note-taking app, but you can also set it up to use staff paper. Once you've got that downloaded and launched, then you can go back into the app and create a new notebook by tapping on the new notebook button on the top right. The new notebook will start up with graph paper by default, but you can change it to music staff paper by purchasing the music paper collection from Penultimate's in-app store. And you can do that by tapping on the paper icon near the top right and the paper shop near the bottom. They have a few different kinds of paper available. And all the way here at the end is the music paper collection. And I'll just swipe through that so that you have a chance to see the different kinds of staff paper they have available. And it's a pretty nice collection that's suitable for musicians of all stripes. Once you've purchased and installed that, you can go back to the paper icon near the top right, and then select Music, and then choose the type of staff paper that you'd like to use. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and start writing on the staff paper. Now this is a little bit clumsy because with the tap icons that I'm using for the screencast, I can't really see where I'm writing. But if I show you an example of some music notation that I did before the screencast, then you can see that I can actually write a lot more legibly when I'm not doing a screencast. Um, so now I'd like to show you some settings in Penultimate that are useful if you're writing music notation. So if I go to the settings menu, the gear icon on near the top right here, you've got options for wrist protection, which it's nice to have on so that your palm doesn't make stray marks while you're writing on the iPad. And then the wrist position setting will help the iPad recognize how you position your hand on the tablet surface when you're writing so that you can avoid those stray palm marks. Another useful thing to know about is this include paper design option. And what that lets you do is when you export pages from your notebook by um, emailing them or sending them to another app, this will let you include the background paper, which in this case is the staff paper and is really used to, useful to have those staff lines showing when you're uh, looking at the notebook page using other apps. And that brings me to um, the option for exporting pages from the notebook, which you can get to from this um, top right icon here. And that gives you some options for sending the page by email or opening the page in other apps that support PDFs. And one really nice thing you can do with that is send it to a PDF music reading app such as Fourscore and have that be part of your music library collection. 
So the last thing that I'll mention about penultimate for staff paper is that um, one drawback of this app is that you can't really zoom in. You can't do pinch and zoom to be, to be able to make the staff a little bit bigger so you can write more accurately. And um, some of the other methods that I'll talk about in later videos in this series will show some other methods that... Uh, that allow you to zoom and write a little bit more accurately and legibly when you're using virtual staff paper. So that's it for the demo. Be sure to check out my YouTube channel for the other videos in this series and also for more how-to videos on music and technology. Hi folks! There was one thing that I forgot to mention in the screencast and I thought I'd add it on because I know some of you might be wondering. I'm using the Adonit Jot Pro stylus to write on the penultimate app, and I find it very helpful for annotating music because it's got a fine tip and I'm able to write a little bit more accurately and legibly with it. And that's really handy, especially with an app like Penultimate where you don't have the pinch and zoom feature to be able to zoom in and um, write really accurately in the staff lines. But anyway, just wanted to add that, and thanks for watching, and see you next time.